This is physics part two, example question two from my website goprocaribbean.com. If you've happened upon it on YouTube or Google or Facebook and you haven't watched the other videos, visit the website first and watch them in the order they're intended to be watched in. What we're doing is we're now looking at questions that go from one depth to another depth. In physics part one, you learn how to use the three-step process to answer questions compared to the surface. In physics part two, we are moving it up a notch and comparing one depth to another depth, which means we have to use the three-step process twice. What's the first thing we do? We look at the answers. What's the unit of measurement? It's minutes. Let's look at the question. Let's find minutes. Let's find the start point. In this case, it's 45. So we can fill that in in the three-step process, round one, step one, 45 minutes. Step two is always to think, do I multiply or do I divide? Well, we're talking about air consumption in minutes. We're going to the surface. Am I going to consume my air faster at the surface than I would at depth or slower? We're going to consume it slower at the surface than we would at depth. So we are going to multiply 45 minutes to make it a bigger number, a higher number of minutes, a slower air consumption. Step three, look at the starting depth. It's five meters. What's the pressure at five meters? It's 1.5 atmospheres. We now have our initial calculation giving us 67.5 minutes surface air consumption rate. That is how long that tank would last us at the surface, given the information we were provided with in the question. We move that down and use it as the first number in step one of round two. Now we are thinking to ourselves, if the tank lasts me 67.5 minutes at the surface, how long would it last me at the second depth? It's going to last me less time, so I divide. How much less time? What's the second depth? 35 meters. What's the pressure at 35 meters? 4.5 atmospheres. 67 divided by 4.5 is 15. It's answer C. If you like my page, GoPro Caribbean, on Facebook, you're going to get more information about when I release new videos and what's going on. You can also visit my website to get a lot more videos, practice questions, and study notes. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, they will inform you of when I've posted a new video.